Hello and good morning my lovely friends, this is Marta, welcome back, today I will be playing back with my box of sunshine number one and uh, this is something I am super super proud, this is my very first own collection which I've released by myself, I've designed it myself, I've purchased it myself, so uh, this is my latest baby and today i actually wanted to play with some uh, sets of the extras which are in the collection so i'm not gonna be even touching my paper set now i also would like to invite you to the video of my friend monica uh, who decided to um, show you she did unboxing thank you so much monica for your support uh, thank you for buying box and thank you so very much for doing this uh, beautiful unboxing and also a lovely card which you made so i will give you a link to the monica youtube channel down there where you can watch the video if you're curious to see what's coming together with this box of sunshine now this piece of a design paper i'm using this is actually the backing packaging of the flower set which is in the box and i had this piece of the gold uh, paper this is a gold mirror cardstock uh, which i had left over from from another work and i thought oh why not i'm gonna be using them up and this way i will have this little teeny tiny bit of the sparkle behind my uh, panels and this uh, little rectangular frame uh, this comes from this uh, set of elements to cut which you get 12 pages fill up with little elements and there's over 130 elements uh, in this little set so I encourage you to check out the links and everything you will find down below in the description area. Now, I am as always, I'm not measuring anything. I just mark myself some line with the pencil and I'm just going to be gluing them down. I'm using my forever favorite old technique, uh, just uh, sticking it with the double sided tape. But to be super secure, I am always adding this touch of the liquid glue on the corners of my card just to first and foremost secure it and secondly to give me that second to move around so in case it's not straight from the second i could very gently just you know twist my card making sure it's uh, positioned in the right way and now uh, one thing i want to tell you whenever you work with the double-sided tape uh, my friends and you having the trouble to um, release those papers just use the sharp point of your scissors and that will help you out this will help you to leave the releasing paper 10 times easier rather than, than struggling with your nails and now i'm doing the exactly same thing with my little frame i'm also adding the four uh, bits of the double-sided tape and actually for this uh, little piece of the golden uh, cardstock i'm later on gonna be switching to the foam tape because i want to add a little extra uh, dimension but for now i'm just uh, gluing them two together adding a drops of the glue and i like to smear my glue with the finger this way i am securing uh, i am flattening up all the blobs and i'm once i press my paper uh, two layers together there is no risk of the glue being squished out and creating the mess uh, so here you can see I've got this ready-made card base and this is the base which is actually five and a half by seven and a half inches so uh, I've did it myself uh, I was cutting another bigger card and I had this leftover longer strip which I score and uh, that way I've created myself a card base but if you don't have uh, you can use five by seven which will then give you slightly smaller white uh, edge all around but you can also create this uh, card base yourself uh, if you just cut two pieces of the same uh, size cardstock uh, five and a half by seven and a half and then score one of them half an inch from the top and then glue two together you will have perfectly hinged card which will be top opening this is one of my favorite types of the card because they really really stand nicely and um, they present themselves really well if someone uh, if you know you're giving it to the recipient who like to keep their cards uh, on ex, uh, you know uh, on a show like on a mantle in the living room or on a shelf then definitely top folding card is much better solution here i've 
as I've told you before, I am switching to the foam tape just because I want to have this little teeny tiny bit of dimension. This card will be relatively flat. However, there's this drop of dimension always creates some extra interest. And I think it makes card looks a little bit more luxurious than when everything is flat. And here I have this little circle which says thank you. I really like this one and for a second I thought I should really back it up with the gold as I did uh, my other two and luckily for me I have this um, little circular die which I was showing you in one of my videos before it's been lying on my shelf right in front of me for like couple of weeks now and I can't <laughs> and I can't remember myself from which set I took it uh, from so until I'm gonna be find the proper place uh, where to put it back I think it may be from the paper discovery set uh, but I'll have to double check which one it is and uh, then I will put it back but it will help me to create this teeny tiny narrow gold frame which you can also achieve by using two of the nesting dice so if you don't have little frames like that you can always use the uh, nesting frames to create the gold circle or just cut slightly larger silver and glue it underneath i just like the idea how it looks like with the frame being on top rather than being uh, a matting for my matting layer for for my circle now as you can see as always i am just making sure i smear the glue properly there is no blobs there is nothing uh, to be squeezed out and making this thinning the layer of the glue it's something which will also help you out to prevent from paper warping so if you ever glue the piece of the paper using the liquid glue and later on once the paper dry you can see those glue line this would never happen if you would actually use your finger and smear the glue into the thin layer. So this is just something I want to share with you. If that's the problem for you, just try this technique. Just use your finger. You can always, you know, clean it up with the wet wipe or something or wash your hands. Now, here I am just adding a little extra bow and just a teeny tiny spoiler, my friends, for those of you who bought entire collection as a box of sunshine uh, you receive some uh, extra bag of the goodies and there was some ribbons there as well so uh, this is just uh, a little spoiler uh, but i wanted to say thank you and not only give you a, a box of sunshine as the set of the paper elements to cut and my handmade flower but there's also some some little goodies to to say how much I am thankful and appreciate your help and support my friends now I'm gluing my ribbon I use my um, lighter to secure the edges of the ribbon uh, so this will prevent them from shedding and I add a blue pearl in the center so this was my card for today you will see it in a second on a close-up photo I hope you will enjoy it thank you so much for being for subscribing and liking uh, my videos I'm wishing you all a wonderful day stay blessed my friends bye bye